what's up it's your girl toya i'm coming at you guys with a video update of my locks yes i told you guys i was gonna stay current so um i took the two strand twist down from the last video and i did promise you guys a video so i wanted to show you guys how my hair looks once i took the two strand twist down it was really 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 crinkly yesterday but after just getting out of the shower they kind of dropped but still popping look like some little ramen noodles <laughs> so um yeah i just wanted to come through and show you guys that but before i get to showing you the whole 360 i would like to share with you what i use also this is kind of like a product um you know recommendation video as well so i just want to share with you that um, some of the products are pretty much the same, but, you know, um, I'm going to share with you some new things, some new things that I do. Keep my locks moisturized. With this color, it's a definite. So, first thing first, when I dyed my locks, I used this to wash out the dye. I washed with this twice, and um, then I moved on to my regular shampoo. So, this, you know, you see this for people that are relaxed, they you know use this to make sure the relaxers out so because it was a chemical I was like okay maybe this will work for that so I washed with this twice this is not a normal shampoo but this is what I used after I dyed my locks um, then I went on and I used design essentials deep cleansing shampoo um, and this gets all the grit and grease out of your locks on the daily you know that you in, you get in your locks so I use this as a regular shampoo um, and then I use this second shampoo, which is a moisture retention shampoo. So it basically puts the moisture back into your locks after this one takes it out. So both of these are found on Amazon. They're 32 ounces and they're like 15 or $13 a bottle. Then I follow up with the Rosemary Mint uh, Conditioning Conditioner. And it leaves your hair, your scalp, well, your scalp very uh, minty feeling or, you know, tingly. So I use that. And then that is what I wash with. Now on a, like, regular day, like say today, I wanted to just moisturize my locks. And so my locks will be dry. I would spray it down with some water. And then I would go in with this. This is Shea Moisture Deep Treatment Mask. Um, now, this is not supposed to be used on locks, so they say, and, um, you know, you're supposed to put it on and rinse it off your hair, but I leave it on, <laughs> okay? Don't judge me. This is something I've been doing since I was loose natural. I just actually started giving it a try for my locks because I was staying away from it because, you know, that's the rule, but I'm like, forget it. You know, look, I need as much moisture as I can get, so it's going on there so i haven't found a good leave-in and this is my leave-in i leave it on and i only use about this much let me show you how much i use for each section probably about this much for each section so you might you know put your hair in four sections and then just put about this much each time and i just do it from here on down you know and that is what i do after it's been you know sprayed down with the water then I follow up with some good old extra virgin olive oil. This is cooking oil found in the grocery store. I used to use coconut oil, but coconut oil just sits on my hair. It doesn't like really moisturize it. So I use cooking oil, extra virgin olive oil. And this actually came from all these. So I put that on, you know, massage it in, make sure it's in there really good. And then what else? Oh, for my actual scalp, I, I would actually do this step first after spraying it down with water. I put this in my scalp. This is Tea Tree Oil by Hollywood Beauty. It's a whole bunch of different oils in it, you know, but the main ingredient is Tea Tree Oil. Helps with dry, itchy, flaky uh, scalp. And then I also use Wild Growth, you know. This bottle looks horrible, but oh well, you get it. <laughs> you get the point. These two things, you can find this anywhere pretty much. This is found, um, uh, I think you could probably find this at Sally's, but I found it in my local beauty supply store, which, you know, that's the Asian beauty supply store, and it was like 10 bucks, so they're pretty expensive. But I use this all on my scalp, massage it in, and then that's it. That's, that's my um, routine. But now when I 
um let's say i put this on let's say i put this on sunday and by wednesday i want to you know put some more moisture put some more moisture back in my locks i would spritz it back down with water again and then um at this end which is the carol's door to lock butter now like i said i've been using this stuff on and off for years um don't let the name scare you yes it says a lock butter like you would think it should you know help you know with a retwist but this stuff is so loose and so oily it doesn't hold at all and i've never liked it for a retwist i tried it one time and it just wasn't right so for me i use this as a moisturizer just put it on the lock so as you can see it doesn't leave um any you know you can't really see it but it leaves your hair butter soft and um the ingredients in this says beeswax but don't let that scare you i'm telling you it's really no beeswax in this thing because it doesn't hold anything it's more soybean oil and shea butter and um cocoa butter i'm telling you it smells minty i mean that i use this for a moisturizer i actually put it in now but i don't want to mess up my crinkles so um yeah those are the things i use i think you guys should give it a try now this does kind of go on thick so let me just show you guys how one lock will look or a couple locks this is how it's gonna look when you put it on you're gonna have to massage it in really good and if you got black locks i don't know you probably just want to use a little less than this but yeah it's gonna go on really thick but like i said i leave it in i do not rinse it out and i do not have any product build up issues because i use a great uh shampoo which is a deep cleansing shampoo and like i said i'm not you know putting a whole lot on there so you know just anything for some moisture you know it's dyed i gotta keep it moisturized so that's what i use you guys try it um you guys know i'm still using the nubian kinks i got like a half a jar left this is the only thing that I find that I liked for a retwist. Um, I don't know how I'm going to get any more of this. They took the website down. Unless I'm in New York, that's the only, the only way I'm probably going to get some. The ingredients was on the back, but I can't make it out. But I was able to find a little forum that was talking about the product, and she listed the ingredients. So I'm going to probably try to make it myself. Um, I wish I had some money because I sure would buy her out and just try to get this product in the stores because like, it's a great product the only retwist product that i would ever want to use from now on show me some tell me something better and i'll try it but i think ain't nothing beating that so i just want to show you now um my hair how it looks from the side and everything and you guys didn't get to see it you know when it was like still two strands because this so i'm gonna try to get around hurry up and show you guys this is the back my sides my, my retwist still look pretty good this is this is going on the fourth week like excellent okay it's the back doo, 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 doo. so nice and pretty i love when i see like in a different like type of style it makes me appreciate the the, the size of them because you guys I really kind of thought about combining because it takes so long for me to retwist I'm just like ah oh, you know I don't do much with my hair anyway I can just combine them and make them thicker but um that's how it looks I don't know if I showed y'all like the roots or whatever y'all know I don't have thick hair I have fine hair, like it's like grows out my scalp kind of fine, you know. So I'm always happy with some type of volume in my hair, and that is why I love, 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 love these crinkles. I did do some curls recently, like probably back in November, and they were so pretty. They last for like about two weeks too. I had to cut, keep touching up some that dropped, but. For the most part, they did last for like three weeks. And I was like, ooh, this is so pretty. It's still like nice and thick and juicy. But um, 
yeah that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this video i didn't want to make it too long it ended up going 10 minutes anyway so uh let me know uh what your products are and if you would be uh willing to try some of the products i shared with you today i will be back with another video it probably will be bento not video so y'all stay tuned see you later